Hey, Ellis. Have you ever heard of the Mandela effect? No. It's crazy. I've been watching videos about it. The Mandela effect is when, like, a large group of people, everyone basically, all, like, remember a thing. But that thing didn't actually happen. Like what? What did, What didn't happen? The biggest one is the Sinbad movie Shazam, where he plays a genie. Shazam? You mean Kazam with Shaquille O'Neal? Yeah. No, it... See, it's called the Mandela Effect. People independently, like, remember that movie with Sinbad, where he was a genie. No, I don't. The Mandela Effect sounds a lot like a bunch of white dudes mixing up two black dudes. No, you see, everyone remembers Sinbad being in a movie about a genie called Shazam. Yeah, you said that already, and I said back to you, I don't... I remember Kazam with Shaq. How do you mix up two dudes when one is nine feet goddamn tall and the other is Sinbad? Okay, how about this? Do you remember the peanut butter called Jiffy? Jiffy? I remember Jiff. No, but you remember Jiffy too, right? No, it's called Jiff. J-I-F. I, I know it is. You see, it's called the Mandela Effect. Sounds like a bunch of people being dumb and racist. You say a lot of people believe in this? It's not a believe in thing. It's, it's kind of like a... Oh, I got an example. Lop is like a box of chocolates. Okay. Yeah, the line is actually, life was like a box of chocolates. So what? Look, you're not getting it. It's called the Mandela Effect. It's not racist, it's mysterious. Almost like an alternative universe from our own that we are seeing glimpses of. Why is it called the Mandela Effect? Because everyone remembers Nelson Mandela dying in prison in the 80s. Died in prison in the 80s? What the fuck are you talking about? Do you remember the Berenstain Bears? I remember the Berenstain Bears. How about the snack Cheez-Its? It's just Cheez-It. Here's one that'll blow your mind. The Monopoly Man does not wear a monocle. What in the fuck is a monocle? A monocle is like eyeglasses, except it's just one. It's just for one eye. I never heard of that in my life. Is that the Mandela effect? The monocle itself? No. But the fact that the Monopoly man didn't have one is. Does that make sense? No, it does not, but it doesn't matter. I'm about to hit the hay, so why don't you head down to your place so I can uh, get some sleep? No. I know you have a little thought coming over. Who are you calling a thought? I don't know what a thought means. All I know is I'm really ripped, and you owe me a whole best friend night. I know, but this girl... Punch card. What the hell is that? It's the Fast and Furious punch card. For every movie that I sat through, you have to spend one night hanging out with me for a whole best friend night. That's the deal, is it not? Hey, I got an idea. You want to play hide and seek? <laughs> yes, I do. Don't you mean high and seek? Get it? Because I'm... Because I'm super high. All right, go hide, and I'll, and I'll count to ten and find you, okay? Last time you didn't find me for like four hours, you remember? <laughs> You're awful at this. See you later. <laughs> All right, he's never going to find me in the closet. <laughs> he couldn't find me here last time. Let's see if he's gotten any better at this game. I am the king of hide-and-seek. Or is it hide-and-go-seek? Oh, no way, it's another Mandela effect. What? That's so crazy. Wait, is someone here? Oh, his girl showed up. I see what's going on here. He needs help finding me. <laughs> He's so shit at hide and seek. <sighs> Silly Ellis. I'm not hiding in her vagina. Hey, Ellis, do you smell that? Yeah, Dewey Day puked on the pool table. No, not that. The other smell. No, all I smell is puke. It's love, Ellis. The smell is love, and it's in the air. I love you, rug band. Okay, DJ. Feels like a normal Friday night to me. No, Ellis. 
Spring has sprung. People are taking off their masks and re-emerging back into the wild, ready to mate like penned-up creatures longing for companionship. Hey, Rubber. Uh, Elf, uh, what are you, what are you guys doing? Are you having a bar mitzvah or something? Dewey Dave, you're looking thin. Are you doing some exercise some shit? Uh, yeah, I, I ride my bike wherever I go. I, I have to, and I just threw up. So, yeah. A bit early, though, isn't it, Dave? When did you get here? Ah, uh, probably about uh, Sunday. How's the family, Dave? Yep, okay. Uh, I'm going to go play uh, some tunes on the uh, touch tunes. Uh, you guys want to hear some Alice in Chains? Uh, thinking about playing Down in a Hole. Remember that one? No, that's depressing as shit, man. Uh, how about something a little more magical? Hey, Ellis. I heard they're opening up a karate place across the street. Hopefully we can get in on some of that dad's waiting for kids action. Maybe I'll order up some dad rock faves for the window. Hell, maybe a cardboard cutout of Glenn Fry. Put a little talking bubble next to his mouth at the dad joke. You know any good dad jokes? Karate is for the undisciplined. <laughs> That's a good one. Not a joke. That makes sense. I did not actually... Why are you being weird about karate? I guess being an expert at Taekwondo gives me a natural bias towards inferior martial arts. You're an expert at Taekwondo. Yeah. Well, you want to see proof? Yes. I'll go get my black belt at lunch. Black belt? Yeah, black belt. Why have I never heard about your secret fighting abilities? Probably because I'm not a karate bitch telling every motherfucker that I can break boards and shit. Because karate is for the undisciplined. Exactly. Love is in the air, Dave. Do you smell it? Smell it? Uh, yeah. Uh, hot dogs? I puked those up. Uh, taste in my mouth still, so maybe I'm just smelling the, the old hot dog breath. Nope, not barf hot dogs. I'm talking about love, Dave. And we all need it. Every one of us. Badly. We need the touch of someone who wants to build a life with us. Someone who wants to better us. Help us be the people that we were supposed to be being already. We need love. You need your dick sucked. No, I don't. Well, yeah, I totally do. But no, this is different. This is... I want the whole thing, Ellis. I want the whole shebang. Not just the bang. I want the she. Oh, boy. It's kind of clever. Not at all. Right? She bang. Shebang. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Tonight's the night we find the love of our lives, everyone. Yeah, I, I do. I need to find it. Love. I need love, too. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, me, too. I suppose he's not completely wrong, even though this is so forced and cringy. I need love. I want love, too. Doesn't everyone? That's right, Gary. Everyone wants love, and tonight we find it. And it all starts with the perfect song. So, Dave, maybe instead of an ode to suicide, we could start the rest of our lives off right with a song that makes us believe anything is possible. Maybe something like, oh yeah, I know. Uh, hey Dave, go play Dust in the Wind by those uh, Kansas guys. Yeah, that will get the hormones going. Yeah, uh, wait on that though. I believe that song is about people dying and that nothing really matters, so... How about... Play Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. No, DJ. You just said that because I just said Nothing Else Matters. Plus, that song is also super depressing and probably about death. Hey, Dave. Play I'll Be Missing You by Puff Daddy. Might be under P. Diddy. Fuck fine. No, P. Diddy. That's like one of the most famous death songs ever. Plus, it's a sample of a song about a stalker. Hey, Dave. Play Legalize It by Peter Tosh. Ah, uh, that song's like about legalizing weed. It's not really about love or inspiring love or anything like that. I actually have the perfect song if you guys would stop interrupting me. Hey, Dave, why don't you play the song Acid by the London duo Jockstrap? Jockstrap? Fuck you. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you hoping to hear UB40 or something? I'm sure it's better than your stupid pitchfork band. I feel bad for her. Feel bad for who? Whoever it is you single out as your victim. Are you calling my future wife a victim? Hey, Dave. 
Play Victim of Love by the Eagles. God damn it, DJ. How about I play Born to be Wild? Now that's a song that really gets my motor running. My God, how old do you want your wives to be? You want them to be 80-year-old biker bitches? Is that what we're doing here? Finding old-ass leathery women? Hey, Dave, why don't you play Burn One Down by Ben Harper? Awesome, another weed song. Way to fight the stereotype, Burnout Benny. You want a love song? Fine. How about my favorite Neil Diamond song? Wait, what'd you say? Did you say Neil Diamond? Yeah. Okay. I love me some Neil Diamond. What song are we going with? Cracklin' Rose, Song Sung Blues, Forever in Blue Jeans. Oh, wait. I know which one. Girl, you'll be a woman soon. Nasty ass. Okay, you guys want a song? Dave, put on Allentown by Billy Joel. Okay? Hmm, not sure a song about the mid-80s steel industry and pencil fucking vania is going to get me where I need to be, but you know what? Whatever. You guys can play whatever the fuck you want, because my ass is going home. So long, assholes. The next day. Damn, dog, you missed out last night. What? What do you mean? Everybody banged. Everybody banged? What does that mean? It means everyone banged someone last night. What? Even Packer Dan? Yup. Dewey Dave? Yup. DJ? Yup. Gary? Yup. How do you know everyone banged? Did you call them all up in the morning to verify that they had intercourse? I saw them do it. Everyone banged at the bar? Yup. What the fuck? What song did you guys end up playing? Allentown by Billy Joel. What the fuck? Can you break boards? I mean, like, by punching it? I've done it before. Do it right now. Break the desk. I don't even care. Not gonna happen. I need special wood. Not just gonna punch a untested material like some Johnny Karate. What can you do right now to show me your skills? I want to believe, Ellis. Taekwondo is not about revealing your abilities. It's about seeing the situation you're in and regaining complete control of that situation. Taekwondo isn't about doing jump kicks for giggles. You want to see that shit? Go across the street. They'll put on a show for you. Why do you hate karate so much? My master ingrained into my teenage mind that karate is for the reckless and weak. Taekwondo is for the dominant mind. So karate is for stupid people. If that's what you took from what I said, then I can't stop you from believing that. Master Schwelzenberg always told us Wait, never... wait, wait. Your master's name was Schwelzenberg? What part of Korea was he from? The Wisconsin part? Yeah, so what? He could beat the shit out of you, that's for sure. Jesus, I hope so. Was Master Sweatberger able to break boards, or was he not able to ever find a special enough wood piece to break? Don't you ever speak ill of my master. I thought it was bad for white people to make black people call them master. It is when that white person's a little bitch. Let's play a little game. I'll put my hand up above my head. Let's see if you can kick it. All right, three, two, one. I don't care if you ah. Camera's crooked. All right, all right. Three, two, one. I don't care if you're not so bright. Please, ah, can hell, camera. Ooh, ooh. Today must be my birthday because Spaz Attack is making a TikTok. In the words of Lou Reed, just a perfect day. And we're live. I don't care if you're not so bright. Please be my wife. Oh dear. I think this is going to be a sad video. Three, two, one. I don't care if you're not so bright. Please be my wife.
What? Fuck. Get it right, idiot. Oh, this is for sure sad. Also very funny. Sad funny. Sunny. All right, take 14. Come on, man. All right. I don't care if you're sort of fat. Please be my wife. This has to be rock bottom. Maybe I should stop filming. Three, two, one. So oh, yeah. If you're lonely, if you're lonely, if you're lonely, and don't, if, if you're lonely and you, I hate you mosquitoes, go away. If you're lonely and, and you, baggage, if you're lonely and you, God damn mosquitoes, you little blood sucking pieces of shit. What am I, buy a swamp or something? Three, two, one. If you're lonely with some baggage, mm. I like. Oh, oh, you fucking. Where are the bats? Don't they eat these things? All right, let's do this middle eight. Jeez. Three, two, one. God, Jesus Christ! With the, just give me some wind, just a slight fucking breeze to blow these little cocksuckers out of my nose. It's in my brain. Get out of my head, you son of a bitch! Such a perfect day. Five hours later. Booty, 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 give me all the booty, 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 give me all the booty, 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 give me all the booty, booty. I think I like TikTok. What else do we got? I don't care if you're not so bright Please be my wife And I don't care if you're sort of fat Please be my wife and If you're lonely with some baggage Less than three kids will help you raise them Cause all That is the saddest shit I have ever seen. Oh, here's one from Hipster Cal. God damn mosquitoes, you little blood-sucking pieces of shit. What am I, by a swamp or something? Loser, you're a loser, you're a loser, you're a loser. Get it right, stupid. FML, FML. God, I hate you mosquitoes. Get out of my life. Rugburn's not going to like that. All right, give me something else. Come on, something to lighten my mood. Booty, 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 give me all that booty, Yeah, I like TikTok. Booty, 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 give me all that booty, 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 give me all that booty, booty. I'm gonna go get my black belt up in my place so we can be done with this fucking conversation. Hello. Looking for a record to impress my new girlfriend. She's a big fan of old records, and I wanted to get her a vinyl for her birthday. Well, you came to the right place, and you're talking to the right guy. Using music in its truest and most beautiful form. The language of love. Tell me a little bit about your girlfriend. How old is she? She's 22. Does she live in the city or burbs? She lives in Uptown. Interesting. What's her name? Jamika. I'm sorry, did you say Jamika? Yeah. Bullshit. What's bullshit? Her name? That's not her name. Excuse me? Sorry, Brendan, but I don't see you pulling off a Jamaica. My name isn't Brendan. And your girlfriend's name isn't Jamaica. You are an asshole. Just wait until I hit social media and trash this place. Look around, lover boy. Do you think we give a fuck what you write about us on Facebook? Look, I told you. That's not a black belt. What you talking about? This is a black belt. It looks... it looks brown. It's not brown. A little faded, I guess. It's old. Well, guess what? Maybe I'll just rob you guys. Who the hell you be? Oh, man, Ellis. 
This is Brendan. My name's not Brendan. You'll never guess what Brendan says his girlfriend's name is. Ooh, let me guess. Uh, Mary. Nope. Sarah. Nope. Emily. Nope. Carol. Nope. Uh, Betty. Nope. My girlfriend's name is Jamika. Your girl's name is Jamika? Yeah, right. <laughs> I told you, Brendan. It doesn't matter what her name is, because I'm shutting this place down starting today. Oh, hey, now would be a perfect time to control the situation with some sweet Taekwondo. Prepare to go out of business, guys. Wow. What's that move called? It's called, look out, here comes a big cash register. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Who's the motherfucker messing with my man? I'll be damned. Brendan pulled it off. Ellis, you seeing this? Ellis, where are you running to? All right, this seems like a good a spot as any to stop and reassess things as we are uh, currently seeing them. Uh, my first question is, where are we? My second question is, why are we here and are we dying? I would like to ride in a bike basket. Do you feel like you could support my weight if I sat in a bike basket? Like cross-legged? A bike basket? Like what E.T. rode in when he flew to the moon? Uh, yeah. Kind of small, though, isn't it? Maybe I'm thinking more like a sidecar or something. More of this is, uh, my feet are tired and I want to ride. Hold up. I have a notification from my phone. What does it say? It says... Hey, future Rugburn and Ellis. This is late afternoon, Rugburn and Ellis. Hope you're still alive. Who will these clowns be? There's more. Tonight you enjoyed a strain that Burnout Benny called the Regarding Henry Weed. Regarding Henry? What does that mean? You will probably notice most of your short-term memory is gone. Oh, for sure. Yep. To help you along for the next few hours, we planned your entire evening out on the town. Sounds like you're planning a gay date. Is that what this is? You plan a date? I'll be honest, I don't know what afternoon me really had in mind. But I am a little excited to find out what we're going to do. Aren't you? Yeah, a little bit. It's nice just to get out, you know. A little bit scared though too, because like, I don't remember exactly where I live. It seems to be information that is like, you know, gone forever. I don't know what's happening. The notification continues. Your first leg in a night of new adventure is the secondhand store savers. Pick out a new identity for the night. Sounds like we're getting a new wardrobe. Kind of fun, shaking it up a little bit. I'm glad we're getting new identities. Because I don't remember who the fuck I am. Me neither. And it feels really good. I'm going to chase this moment the rest of my life. We're going to Savers. The second hand store. Ta-da! Oh, you're going full costume? I should have done that. What do you mean, costume? Am I not an astronaut? Jesus, this stuff is absolutely destroying you, isn't it? Yep. I got another notification from Afternoon Rugburn. Who that be? Who you? I am your best friend, Rugburn. You look up to me and always help me meet new women without trying to steal them away from me. You're also envious of my more slender-sized penis, and wish yours was more like it. I don't know anything right now. I do not know what is going on. I don't know what anything is. But I know I don't envy your small dick. I did not say small, I said more slender. What's next? I'm hoping it's dinner because my ass is ready to eat. Well, you're in luck. 
afternoon us reserved us two spots at Gugu Gajub Hibachi Grill. Proper. Afternoon rub burn is way better than you are. For sure. Oh, is that for sure? For sure. You know what? Thanks. I'm taking that as a compliment. 100% compliment and 0% insult. You just made my night with your sweet, sweet words. Thanks again. My feet are Todd. Cool story. What do you want me to do about it? Whee! A goo 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 All right, this place is really nice. I don't remember my own name or if I have a mom. But I know this place used to be a titty club back in the 2000s. I remember a beautiful woman named Sunrise Sam used to work here on Wednesday nights, right after 1 a.m. Her song was Send Me an Angel. Remember that? I do. Boy, you remember a lot about her. Did she have any tattoos or anything? Yeah, she had a tiger cub on her left shoulder and a dove on her thigh. But you don't remember if you have a mom? No. I remember your mom, though. Do you really? Or is that you just doing a mom joke? Mom joke. Apparently I used to enjoy telling mom jokes in my previous life. Eh, sort of. You would actually more aggressively pursue our moms in real life. Like, you straight up made out with DJ's mom. You would always ask my mom if she was lonely. Which is always weird. And you definitely banged Loopy Larry's mom, we all know that. So no, you didn't really do jokes, you just... You just did that kind of stuff. Boy, I sounded like quite the character. And this strip club must have been the shit because it's all coming back to me now. Hibachi girls and strip clubs have a lot in common when you think about it. Hibachi girls and strip clubs have a lot in common when you think about it. They're both too dimly lit. They both have, like, a big show. And then awkward moments of downtime when you don't know if you should keep watching or wait for the next part of the show. You know, you're not sure if you should watch the cleanup or not. But you do. And at both places you have people getting squirted in the face. Damn, what strip club are you going to? Oh, I ate way too much shrimp. And I had way too much chicken and rice. Oh, look, I got another notification from Afternoon Rugburn. Maybe tell them that I'm Todd. I'm Todd. I might just lay down. Hope you're energized and ready for adventure. Next stop on your unforgettable night is roller skating. Head to Skateville and find your size and get up to the get down. Man, that's a date. That's a gay date. What? No, it's... Look, we'll go there and we'll uh, look for ladies. You know, while we roll. Maybe slide on by a couple of sexy Donnas that know how to skate on one leg. If you know what I mean. I don't know what you mean. Do I even know how to roller skate? You? No. You're awful. Well, what the fuck? Uh, do you know how to roller skate? No, not at all. I might be worse than you, actually. Then what the fuck is Afternoon Roadbird playing and shit like that for? Well, clearly he's a prick. Self-examination is next on the list for therapy. You know, whatever. I'm too full to learn how to roller skate, so count me out. Me too. Oh, here's another notification. After a few laps around the rink, Take a moment to walk along the path by the pond. Careful not to kick up any surprises. Bruh. Afternoon Rubber and sure seems like he's trying to murder us. I 100% agree. We will not walk along that path. Not now, not ever. And you say that we were best friends? Oh yeah, the best. Oh, here's another notification. Oh wow. Um, 
Well, I'll just read it. Uh, if you ever want to see your best friend again, you must answer the riddle hidden under the third pine tree on Suicide Hill. But if you answer wrong, your best friend is... Uh, gone. Gone. Yeah, gone. Rhymes. I wonder what the question is. I love riddles. Why are you trying to do me like that? What do you mean? This is just fun stuff. It's like a murder mystery night thing. Lighten up. Murder mystery night thing? What's that? It's when a group of people get together and role play a murder scenario while others try to solve the crime in real time. For real? Yeah, but I suppose you'd describe that as silly white people entertainment, right? White people entertainment? Wait. Oh shit, am I black? Yeah, I like this stuff. It's kicking in real good. Hey, Ellis. Do you want to watch that Bo Burnham special? Stop that. Stop what? I was just asking if you wanted to watch the new Bo Burnham special. I think if you actually saw it, you'd get why I'm so enamored with him as an artist. I can't take it anymore, man. You need to collect yourself and stop talking about that dude for real. I don't talk about him that much. Have you heard the Bezos song? The one about Jeff Bezos? I feel like you're basing your judgment on, like, old stuff. I'm judging it based on the, you don't ever stop talking about dudes, so now I hate that dude no matter what. So stop talking about Bernie Bowman. Bernie Bowman? It's not Bernie Bowman, it's Bo Burnham. And I'm sorry for thinking the guy is, uh, like, super talented and someone with an important message about the future and a once-in-a-lifetime creative genius. Who are you talking to? DJ. I... Didn't know you were there. I've been here since you packed that bowl. Right. I must have forgot. You didn't forget, Rugburn. You buried it inside your mind. Answer my question. What's your question? Who are you talking to? You. Before me. I don't know if you are super brain, DJ. Because clearly I'm talking to Ellis. Where'd Ellis go? Ellis who? What? Who's Ellis? Who's Ellis? DJ, your brain is broke, man. Ellis Griggs, co-owner of the store and my best friend since ninth grade. Does that ring any bells? He doesn't exist. But you know that, don't you? What are you talking about, DJ? This Ellis that you speak of, he doesn't exist. He doesn't exist? Only in your mind. Mind, 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 mind. Why are you being such a weirdo about this, DJ? Ellis is probably just cracking a shit or a beer. He'll be back. While we wait, answer me one more question. What happened in ninth grade? You burned down Taco John's. That happened. What else? Uh, I met Ellis. I played my final year of baseball. Uh, my dad died. So Ellis appeared in your life right after your dad died. Appeared? Yeah, you're making him sound like a ghost. Yeah, ninth grade is when I met him. There it is again. That funny feeling. Hey, that's a lyric for my favorite Bo Burnham song. Interesting, isn't it? What's interesting? DJ? Holy shit. He vanished. Was he even there? Did I really make everyone up? Oh my god. I'm alone. I've always been alone. I created Ellis as the person I wished I could be. That's why he was always so hard on me. It all makes so much sense. And DJ is the person I'm afraid I really am. What I'm ashamed of being. That's why I always forget he's around. Because I block him away, deep, deep down. And I'm alone. All alone. 
I've been having conversations with myself for half my life. But maybe that's what's stopping me from moving forward and finding someone to love. Maybe these delusions are what are holding me back. That's it. It's self-sabotage. I'm done imagining my life away. I'm ready to start living it. No more trying to be a pretend version of me. No more hiding away the parts of me I really am. I am James Rugburn, and for the first time in decades, I am 100% here and ready to live. Ready to finally be happy. I am in control, full control of me, and I choose happy. Oh. Hey, just kidding. Is a joke. Hello, part of my brain I am no longer relying on as a mental crutch. In case you missed my speech, I am done imagining my life away. You are not real. I don't know where you went with this, but the prank was uh, you were supposed to think that we were ghosts. And then we were going to scare you or some shit, you know. You clearly took this down some weird-ass road, so I wanted to nip it in the bud before you start doing things. You're not here. Neither is he. You're just figments of my imagination. <sighs> All right, you tell me. Did you imagine that? Or did I just for real slap you in your fucking face? I chose happy. Cool. But I don't think you have a say in the matter. What you do have a say in, though, is where we go to lunch and you driving us there. Oh, you need a ride. Surprise. All right. I can do that for you. See, now, now you're making some good decisions in life. You're on your way. But you have to do one thing for me. What do you mean one thing for you? What? What do you want me to do? Watch the new Balbertum special with me. Oh, you were right. We don't exist. Back inside your imagination we go. Man, does this make me angry. Slow hand. More like slow bland. No, that sucks. I can do better. All right. Clapped and ruined while my guitar gently weeps and stole George's wife. Fact. It's a bit scandalous. Damn kids don't even know who the Beatles are anymore. They probably think Justin Bieber was a Beatle. Does Bieber still make things? Oh, I know what to comment. Hey, remember when Eric Clapton went on a super racist rant on stage in the 70s? Although very true, not very funny. All right, let's be funny and really show them. Wouldn't it be hilarious if he actually read the comment and was like, Oh man, I'm an asshole. How about this? Eric Clapton is the mayonnaise, 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 mayo on top of a vanilla cupcake. That's funny because it's so gross and super white Maybe too gross. Uh, I think my super commenting skills are fading with old age. Come on, Clapton, this is easy, I can do this. Think. Wait. That's it. I got it. The perfect comment. <clears throat> Eric Clapton still alive? L-F-M-A-O. Boom. Tour canceled. Oh, look, someone responded already. This will probably go viral. What was like an ad? Oh, popped up. Congratulations. You won the Emerald Ticket. Use this to tour and sample all our magical products. Taste the gummiest gummy ever gummied or puff the smoothest sativa ever sativa let us take you on an unforgettable, forgettable, fog, fog, is like a pun, is like a smoke pun? Probably just a typo. 
ride through our groovy magic factory. Good for you and a guest. Don't be late. Get your badge. Huh. It's like Willy Wonka, but with weed. That could be fun. 24 hours later. Bye, Minnesota. Off to spend our hard-earned money in another state. Oh, well. Maybe next session. Right, state legislature? I'm excited to go to Washington State. Oh, for sure. Me too. Me too. Have you ever heard of D.B. Cooper? D.B. Cooper? Yeah. He's my grandpa. D.B. Cooper was your grandpa? The guy who stole a ton of money and then jumped out of an airplane and was never found? That was your grandpa? No. I was thinking of somebody else. Who are you thinking of? My grandpa. Duh. Well, we made it. This place is huge. What if they have, like, actual Oompa Loompas? Like, rolling joints or something. How cool would that be? Not cool at all. If there are little miniature clowns running around this motherfucker, I ain't doing shit. Interesting. So little clowns are just as scary as big clowns. Scarier. Way scarier. By like a billion times. I get that. Because of the way they run? Yeah. Hello, welcome to Billy Bonga's Weed Factory or fam- Funny Farm, whatever we call it. Follow me for the experience of a lifetime. Seems legit. Let's do it. All right, boys. Before the tour starts, I just wanted to ask a few questions. Oh, both Ellis and I have been vaccinated, so we don't need to worry about anything like that. That wasn't my question, was it? My question was, do you think there are tears in heaven? Uh, what? Oh shit, it's Eric Clapton. Girl, like, girl. freedom. Oh, hey, Rugburn, what's going on, man? That Willy Wonka weed is trash. Well, looky lucky. Hey, Spaz Attack, did you learn how to drink coffee like an adult? Or do you want me to mix you up some chocolate milk? I wouldn't drink your hippie goat milk if you paid me a million dollars. Boy, a million dollars is a lot, though. Think of all the Taco Bell you could get. I don't eat there anymore. Why? Ouch, it hurts! Oh, stupid chalupa! None of your business. Well, I wonder why you came in, then. If you're looking for work... Uh, we're not really looking for someone like you. Okay, I'll bite. Someone like me? Lazy. Unwelcoming. Unreliable. Unbelievably rude. Stop talking, shut up. I lost a bet to Ellis, and now I have to get him coffee. And he said that it has to be from here. And he gets to choose because he is a bastard. So here I am. I'll take a large dice vanilla latte, light on ice. Sounds good, Spaz Attack. But are you sure you have enough money to pay? Oh, I hate you so much. Because I know how hard business has been for Pine Vinyl lately, and uh, your business plan to uh, sell t-shirts online? That completely failed, didn't it? I believe that that was your idea, right? Go make my copy and shut the fuck up. Coming right up, Spaz Attack. Wait a second. He looks familiar. I know him. But from where? Who is this? I recognize his face. But maybe when he was younger? Hmm. I have a weird sensation that I hate this person. Of course, I hate most people. But I know this dude. I think I know him from middle school? Yeah. Yeah, middle school. The after school bus. 
He used to sit in the back. That's it. I remember. Mark, Mark Anderson. Anderson. No way! Jamie and Calvin? Been a long time! Many years from now, looking back, middle school. Hey, Cal. Hey, Cal. Hey, Cal, what are you listening to on your discman? They're called Trumbawamba. They're pretty cool. Sound cool. But anyway, have you heard about Andy Fritz? Like, about him banging walls? Yeah, I heard. I still don't really get it, though. What's not to get? He puts his wiener in a hole in the wall, and then he, like, bangs it. I get that part, but, like, what kind of wall is it? Is it, like, drywall? Yeah, I wondered the same thing. Maybe, like, he put, like, a wet hand towel in the hole and kind of used that. Oh, yeah, I didn't think of that. You could, like, get it wet and then maybe, like, heat it up in the microwave for 20 seconds or whatever. Make it feel more like a real beaver. Have you ever felt a beaver before? No, but I saw one. My dad had this old porno in it. Had a lady showing off her beaver. It looked like lasagna. <laughs> That's so gross. Hey, buttholes. Why in the back of the bus? Don't you know only the eighth graders ride back here? We're in the middle of the bus, not in the back. You must be some kind of butthole brain. There's two parts of the bus, the front and the back. The front is where the little pussy sixth graders sit, and the back is where the eighth graders sit. And guess what, butthole? You're in the back. Uh, sorry, Mark. We'll be sure to sit in the front tomorrow with the other little pussies. Okay? Well, today's not frickin' tomorrow, is it, butthole? Hey, Mark, what's a butthole? What are you talking about? What a butthole is? You know what a butthole is? No, I don't know what a Are you a butthole? No, you're a butthole. You're the butthole. You're right, Mark, you got me. I am the butthole. <laughs> Jamie just called himself a butthole. <laughs> I knew you were a gay tard. Is Kelvin your boyfriend? I'm not a gay tard, and I am not his boyfriend. Are you sure? Because I'm going to tell everybody. Look, we'll move, okay? Just take a chill pill. Wait, what was that, Jamie? What did you say? You want to try some chew? No, please no. Mark, please don't. You're going to like this chewing tobacco. It's kind of minty. Open your mouths. <laughs> Welcome to Earth Mud. What can I make for you? Oh, uh, nothing for me, man. Just, uh, just here meeting someone. Man, it's funny seeing you guys, though. Wow. So you guys are still together? No, we're... Uh, yeah? What if we were? What about it, Mark? Whoa, little Jamie grew up to be an angry little guy. I'll just wait over here. Later. Why didn't you back me up? We could have made that guy look like a total bigot. I could have filmed it. Made it viral. I'm trying to defend your right to be gay. Uh, sorry. Yeah, you're right. I just... I really didn't want him to think that me and you were dating. I hate you. But you know who I hate more? That fucking guy who threw chewing tobacco in our faces on the bus like 20 years ago. I'm willing to be gay just to tell that guy to go fuck himself. I'll only ask this once. Are you with me? Um... Like I said before, I don't want him to think we're dating. Oh, you are an impossible twat. Mark Anderson. Ellis Griggs. The one you're looking for. What the fuck? Glad you reached out. Hey, so how long have you been looking for a brand new hot tub? Yeah, uh, well, I looked you up and I saw that you were uh, the top sales guy at Sandy's Water Hut. And I thought to myself, maybe now's the time to pull that trigger on a brand new hot tub. Hot tub? Hey, I like the sound of that. Funniest thing. Hey, look over there. Do you remember those two from Happy Valley? That's yeah, Jamie and Calvin. They're still a couple. 
I always knew there were a couple flamers. <laughs> yeah, I bet you're real good at spotting out those gays, aren't you? Oh, yeah, like gaydar. Yeah, oh, yeah, I can tell. I'm looking all the time. Yeah, that sounds real cool. Can you give me one second? I just want to go say hi to the boys over there. All right, careful. They might try to touch your dick. <laughs> Happy birthday. You remembered. Of course, I remember every year. Open up your gift. Ugh. What is it? It smells awful. That's a bucket full of tobacco spit. I know a couple guys at the F. Scott who dip and uh, told them to save all their juice up. And here we are. There also might be a little bit of poop in there. I'm not quite sure, but... I know it's been a hard year for you, and I wanted to say happy birthday. And next year will be better. <clears throat> Thanks, Ellis. I needed this. Yeah, I know. Hey, Mark, open your mouth. Pine Vinyl.